from now on, let's kind of use it. Uh, let's kind of to see how we can use it. So now I will switch. No, no, now in the 3D editor mode, and now I'm going to use in selection mode. But I'm going to use this one, the look like sun. Yes, it is a sun. And then to display daily sun pass, I just simply click this one. So now it shows uh, the daily sun pass one day. And then to see the whole annual sun pass, you have to click this one. So now you will see the whole uh, annual sun pass. Question is, where is this sun located? That's the question. So to change the information uh, about the sun, okay, so we are here, this play here. To change the information about the sun, actually you have to go to analysis. So if you go to analysis here, uh, and then actually I will import weather data file. Uh, and then actually we are going to use Miami instead of uh, USA, uh, Miami, Florida, and open. So that is climate data actually loaded, uploaded, yes. And, and then now actually this one is actually set as uh, Miami data. So let's visualize it. And then if you want to change uh, the if you want to change the time and date, uh, I think you can also uh, select it and move up and down. And then if you use a shift button, actually you can change uh, the date. So this one is one way or and then one way of doing it. But actually, I would rather recommend you to use analysis. And actually, you can select the date here. So actually, you can select hottest day, which is summer, which is June 22. And coldest day, pick is the... I would use hottest day average. This one is actually June 22, roughly June. Uh, actually, this one is Saturday 18th, uh, hourly temperature Saturday 18th. So, probably this is the date for that. And then, and in average, coldest date was like January 3rd. And then, I'm oh, sorry for that. And then, probably, so there are other days. But actually, I recommend you to use this one for uh, January 22, somewhere here or sometimes or June 22 and then sometimes September is average case so here and then you change that if you move it actually this one is uh, on that day so let's say uh, this one is sometime average case with September if I change it to January and actually go to visualize then you see the January time frame uh, and then actually you can just simply uh, change the time like here once you have have it. Okay, this is how to uh, set uh, 